the Cadet Chapel, located at the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs, stands 150 feet tall, housing the spiritual needs of the cadets. Construction began on the Cadet Chapel on August 28, 1959. $3.5 million later, it was finished in 1963. The chapel was designed by Walter Netsch, who was famous for his geometrical designs. It's made of a steel frame coated with aluminum panels, and the front, back, and lower half is glass. The original design called for 19 spires to be built. However, the design received criticism as people questioned the rationale of having 19 spires, when in the past, one spire per church had been sufficient. The design also put the chapel project $1 million over budget, and the plan and $3.5 million budget was passed by Congress in 1957. So when we started out, we couldn't find blueprints at all for our structure, but through searching online, we eventually came up with the National Historic Landmark nomination form, which was really an official form. It told us a lot of various information about each of the spires and each of the or each of the sections, really. And it didn't really tell us too much about dimensions, but it did tell us that it did tell us the length and the width and it told us the hypotenuse of the actual structure if you're looking at it from a front view. So since we knew that it was 280 feet in length and we knew that there were 17 spires, we used that as well as the 84 feet uh, width and the 150 foot hypotenuse to pretty much get a good estimate uh, of the of the spires. Once the calculations were complete, we began to establish the parts of the structure. We designed two types of triangles, type A and type B. We traced out about 200 triangles and began to cut. Three hours later, all the pieces were available for us to put together. We decided the most efficient way to glue the pieces together would be to glue it in various stages. First we glued the bases and the spires separately. Then we glued the bases and spires together to form one half of the structure. Then, finally, we put the two halves together. Once the structure was sturdy enough, we painted it with metallic and black spray paint and finally glued it to the base. During construction of our building, we had a few minor problems along the way. First, we searched everywhere for the blueprints, but were unable to find anything with the calculations of our building. We had to calculate it from the few pieces and dimensions we were given. The second problem we had was there was no way to glue it. The building had to be upside down for us to be able to glue it, but it would not be able to stand on its own upside down. So we built a structure from Connect so we could have the building stand upside down, allowing us to glue it and for the building to be able to dry. The final problem we had was when we went to put the two pieces together, the spires did not line up. So we had to cut them and reposition them so they would be flush with each other. 